we have come to, be, to believe that there's only one kind of university that can be great. And in fact, that's not true today, and it will not be true um, tomorrow either, I believe. Uh, the quintessential example is Rockefeller University, it doesn't have any undergraduates at all, uh, has only uh, organized research laboratories with postdoctoral students and, and professors, and is very, very small. On the other hand, a university like Dartmouth has an enormous contribution to make, uh, and it can be and is a great university. It is, first of all, it is offering the most essential ingredient that an undergraduate can have, which is this ability to actually do research of some kind uh, while he or she is an undergraduate. All the studies that I have seen that look at the successful programs among undergraduates will tell you that the individual who has some direct research experience probably values his or her college education more than anybody else. And so the fact that Dartmouth has so many undergraduates that are actually helping to create knowledge and they themselves have a faculty that is creating knowledge, although it's not as large as many other places, is contributing mightily to the welfare of the nation and to the, uh, the overall system of great uh, universities. It is a mistake to think that all universities that are great have to be the same or have to be homogeneous. In fact, I think one of the things that you will see in my next book will be a call for greater heterogeneity among universities.